Well, there's nothing better the few times in my life when I've had a chance to go for a hike, a week-long hike, where you've got the backpack on, you've got your tent, you've got your food, and just to go out there and to rely on yourself. And it's really an analogy of that. I mean, I don't want a bunch of distant bureaucrats who happen to be crooks nine times out of ten running my life. It's so fundamental. They've bankrupted our society. They've launched all these illegal wars. Bush, three weeks ago, was out giving speeches about how he ordered torture. Meanwhile, they sent people to prison who followed those orders. I mean, this is tyranny. And I, and I keep saying that. I mean, folks, do you know where tyranny leads? And I think God's given us a chance. I think, you know, history's giving us a chance, uh, Judge, and I want you to speak to this. We are at a crossroads. And if good people like yourself and Ron Paul and many others, but also just the rank and file folks out there, stand up as leaders, speak up, point out the emperor is wearing no clothes, and rebuke this evil like Hitler should have been rebuked, like Stalin should have been rebuked, or Mao Zedong before they really got going, we have a chance to avert a historical disaster. Because there's no doubt studying history that if we don't take America back right now, America won't lead us into the 21st century worldwide for liberty. America will lead the way into a new dark age of despotism that dwarfs anything ever seen in the history of man. I am reading a terrific book. It's the second time I've read it in my life. It's Hayek, H-A-Y-E-K, F-A Hayek, The Road to Serfdom. It was written in 1944, and it describes how Europe descended into serfdom as people like Mussolini and Hitler were popularly elected against legitimate uh, opponents, and the public and the, and the government gave them all the power that they had. It is eerily, eerily reminiscent, eerily predictive, because it was written 65 uh, years ago, of exactly what's happening today. Central planning by bureaucrats, not even by popularly elected officials, but by bureaucrats. The decision that power is more in, is more uh, in the spotlight than liberty. The decision that individuals should not be able to make choices for themselves. Look, we have to be on the watch for the loss of liberty. It doesn't happen overnight. It happens slowly and it happens gradually. And whenever anyone sees the loss of liberty, whether it's a cop preventing someone from taking a picture of what the cop is doing, or whether it's a prosecutor prosecuting someone for speaking uh, the truth, whether it's a judge compromising liberty, or whether it's a public, uh, an elected official compromising liberty, it must be shouted from the rooftops. They can send it to me at Fox News, and I'll get it on the air, and they can send it to you at InfoWars, and you'll get it on the air. And it all makes sense. Well, what about Obama? People will see the truth. What about Obama yesterday? He, he weaseled it into his speech about our democracy is about institutions, not about individuals. And individuals, basically, he said, get in the way of America when we're not a democracy, we're a republic. Uh, can you speak to that disgusting statement? Oh, sure. I mean, he, he believes that we are a democracy, and he believes that we, we are not even a democracy of individuals, but a democracy of groups. He believes in collectivism, which is that the groups to which we belong have rights. We don't have rights as individuals, and whichever group speaks the loudest, can take its claim on the government. He does not believe in natural rights. He does not believe that the individual is greater than the government. And he believes in a progressive form of government, which is that the government knows best. That would be the same government that told BP to drill in 5,000 feet instead of 500 feet, even though nobody had ever monitored a wellhead that exploded at, the, at that depth. That would be the same government that relied on, on inaccurate computer models when they set out the process for BP filling out its yeah. forms for the, uh, for the permits. That would be the the same government that said to BP, don't worry about liability. The maximum you'll ever have to spend is $75 million. Judge Andrew, we are out of time. God bless you. The show, again, comes up uh, every Saturday and is re-aired over the weekend on the Fox Business Network. We look forward to talking to you again soon. Great job. God bless you. You are a trailblazer. Thank you, Alex. It's a pleasure. We'll be back.